Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Landon Productions, and this is the top five tallest people in the world. Coming in at number five is Edward Beaupre. He was eight feet three inches tall, and he was born in Saskatchewan, Canada. Yeah, Canada. He was born on January 9th, 1881, and he died on July 3rd, 1904. He was only 23 years old when he died. He died from tuberculosis, which is a disease located in your lungs. Around 1905, which is only one year after he died, his body made its way to a museum in Montreal, and then made its way to a circus. This tall guy weighed about 400 pounds. Let's move on to the fourth tallest person in the world. His name is Vanny Malarini. I really hope I said his name right. He was 8 feet 3 inches tall and he was born in Finland. He was born on February 27th, 1909 and he died in 1963 at the age of 54 years old. Out of the top 5 people, he was able to live the longest. He weighed about 434 pounds. At the age of 21, he was pronounced the world's tallest guy. And at that age, he actually stopped growing. He was only 7 feet 3 inches tall when he declared his title. But then he started to grow again in his late 30s. Now this brings us to our third tallest guy in the world. His name is John F. Carroll. And he was born in 1932, New York, USA. He died in 1969, which makes him 37 years old. He suffered from spinal curvature, which means his spine couldn't support him. He wasn't able to stand straight. He was always curved. Which also means that the measurements of this guy's height it's not very accurate. They're saying that he actually could have been closer to about 9 feet tall. Now let's talk about the second tallest guy in the world. His name is John Rogan. He was 8 feet 9 inches tall from Tennessee, USA. He was born in 1865. Rogan started to grow rapidly at the age of 13, but he died at the age of 37 years old. That's weird, that's like two guys dying at the same age of 37. His body was buried in his family's yard underneath solid concrete to prevent scientists from getting to his body and examining it. This guy was the lightest out of the top 5 tallest guy. He only weighed 175 pounds, which means he wasn't able to stand at all. And finally, the first tallest guy in the world. His name is Robert Wadlow. He was 8 feet 11 inches tall, born in the United States of America. Why are all these tall people coming from America? He was born in February 22nd, 1918, and he died on July 15, 1940 at the age of 22 years old. He was in fact the youngest guy to die out of the top 5 tallest people in the world. He had a disease in his pituitary gland called hypertrophy, which results in an abnormal height level of the human growth hormone which makes his hormone grow a lot faster than the regular human. He showed no indication of the end of his growth, even at the time that he died. Which means if he never died, he would have kept growing and growing and growing. This disease just doesn't allow you to stop growing. When this guy was 8 years old, he was already 6 foot 2 inches tall. And he got into the 8 feet height when he was 17 years old. Well, that's your top 5 tallest people in the world. What top 5 should I come up with next? Put your comments in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next top 5.